It is not worth explaining what can happen to a person with a bite of a poisonous snake, as many have heard about the unpleasant consequences of such an event. But what happens if a snake bites another snake? According to official science, snakes usually do not attack each other. The exception is snakes that feed on similar individuals. Although cannibalism among snakes is a rather rare occurrence, Ophiophagy, this is what snake feeding is called, was seen among all known cobras. It is reliably known that the so-called Cape Cobra has the most bloodthirsty disposition for its own species, attacking mainly during the mating period. Despite the sometimes unpredictable behavior, snakes have a rather convenient feature for survival, most of them have innate immunity to their own poisons. It is understandable, if they hadn't such a quality. Most snakes would have died at a very young age, accidentally biting themselves while hunting. Perhaps this is why nature has taken care of a special substance in the blood of the same vipers that can repel external toxins. However, not all types of reptiles possess such natural protection. It is known that rattlesnakes have lost this very convenient feature, which has led to the fact that this type of snake tries not to use poisonous teeth in fights with relatives. In addition, most snakes do not have any protection from the poisons produced by their congeners. So, it is known that a small but very poisonous snake EFA can kill a gyrza with its poison. And the cobra already mentioned above can easily deal with any of its opponents with the help of a paralyzing poison. However, the main snake feature, poisonous teeth, although a formidable weapon, is at the same time a rather vulnerable spot for the animal. Firstly, such teeth break easily, and secondly, with an annual molt, snakes lose their teeth along with old skin.